Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the Spellbinder Small Die of the Month Club Kit for January 2020. It's called Lovely Card Creator and it is a four piece set. It creates a beautiful card front and um, I love the uh, lacy look of this. I just think it's so dainty and so pretty and so, and it's perfect for Valentine's Day that's coming next month. And so if you take this piece here, it will cut out a panel size that measures four inches by five and a quarter. So it will leave you a little bit of a border on your card base, which I love, but it creates this beautiful decorative edge. Um, it has polka dots around there too also, but I just think it's so gorgeous. And then if you take another piece of card stock and layer all of your elements together, it will die cut out an inside panel um, with a heart cut out in it too. I'm gonna put the heart in there and die cut all three pieces. There's actually this little heart die that will cut out just the heart alone. Um, you don't have to put it in the panel. The, if you take those two pieces and cut it out, you'll have a heart window. But if, if you add this, your heart window will still cut out, but you have a decorative Hard. Well, let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to tape everything down and run it through the die cut machine. You're going to end up with three pieces that are so pretty when you layer them all together. I have them all die cut. I use my tool in one to remove all the small pieces. And this is what you get when you get die cut all three of them out. You get that beautiful frame, which I love. And then you get the inside piece, which is so lacy and just dainty. I love that. Um, if you were to die cut out these two pieces, these two pieces are what you would get. Um, then if you were just to take the heart and then you were to take the small heart die, basically you would just get the outline of the heart there that's slightly smaller than the window size. So not exactly that size, it would be a little bit smaller. So you get lots of options with this four piece set and that's what I love about it. So today's card, oh, you know what, before we jump in, I do want to tell you that I was... I get quite a few kits for Spellbinders, and I so enjoy doing them. This is the Glimmer Kit of the Month, Glimmer Hot Foil Kit of the Month. So if you have a Glimmer Machine, this plate here coordinates with your Small Die of the Month. It's the same exact pattern, almost same. The very top, there's a little piece um, that will foil. But if you were to foil a piece of white cardstock, you could use your Small Die of the Month um, to cut out your foiled image. I think that's lovely that it coordinates. Actually, the Stamp of the Month Club Kit, the Large Die of the Month Club Kit, um, of course, the small one that we're playing with today, they all coordinate and mix and match. I just think that's so nice. So I just thought I'd share, share that with you. <laughs> okay, we are gonna jump in. I have a piece of pink card stock. This actually came from the Card Kit of the Month. I'm gonna die cut out a pink heart. It's a darker pink card. Heart. I'm also going to take a pale pink cardstock. This also came from the Card Kit of the Month. But I wanted to create a back panel so that I have a little bit of that light pink behind the frame on my panel. Um, since my panel size is four inches by five and a quarter, all you have to do is trim a quarter inch off of your A2 panel. So it will measure four inches by five and a quarter. And it'll fit perfectly behind your card creator there. Okay, after we have that trimmed, I'm gonna go ahead and use my tape runner and we're gonna adhere this pale pink panel to our card base. Card base is a standard A2 size card base. Making sure it opens the right way. The other day I had actually created a card and it was upside down. So I actually had to cut it and do a little bit of card surgery on it. Okay, that's it here. Now for this one, I wanted some dimension um, and I didn't want to fuss with the very detailed um, polka dotted edge. So all I'm doing is adding foam adhesive on the inside of my frame here and it will pop up beautifully and it looks so pretty having that layer between both of these. Once this is adhered, I'm gonna take my little lacy decorative piece. I'm keeping it white because when you adhere, when you add that to a white background, it, it just looks so lacy and so pretty. And I just thought it looked stunning. So I'm gonna just leave it white on white 
um, for my background here. But there are little flowers in there. If you wanted to color those in, you very well could. But I just think white on white is going to look beautiful. You can see here. Okay, now I'm going to take my white part that we cut out. I'm going to take a very thin strip of foam adhesive. It's easier if you remove the release paper and then kind of go around your heart. There's enough room on here to um, add a thin strip and that's what I like to. I'm going to add foam adhesive and then I'm going to adhere that to my darker pink heart. Now the darker pink heart is a little bit smaller but it will fit behind your window there. So we have a beautiful colored heart. You can see it's just a little bit smaller. I'm going to add adhesive behind this and place this in the window that's on my little lacy panel there. Today's card's a pretty simple card, but gosh, it's just so pretty and so gorgeous. Okay, to decorate my heart, I'm going to bring in a little flower pack that I picked up during a Spellbinder sale. This is called Spring Kisses. It's from Fun Stamper's Journey, and they're paper flowers. I'm going to add two of the leaves. Um, on the bottom right of my heart here, we'll have that one facing up and then this one will have facing down, kind of going along the edge of our heart. And then I did take two flowers, two paper flowers, and I'm gonna add glue behind the back and we're gonna sandwich these in between the leaves here. I just chose two, I didn't wanna busy up that corner and I thought two was the perfect amount. Um, to embellish the center of my flowers, I'm going to bring in some gems. Now these gems are so faceted and so pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking these were in a card kit. I'm just not sure. Um, but I know, I'm not sure if Spellbinder sells them or not, but any kind of gem that you have would work. And since we're adhering these, they're adhesive backed. But I thought I'd better add a little dot of glue to the center of my flowers just for extra adhesion. I was afraid that these would pop off. I'm going to add some pink ones. I think the middle size is going to work perfect for the center of my flowers. And then after we have our second one, I got to do a little tucking here. We're going to lift up the leaf and tuck that gem under there. <laughs> I am going to take one of the smaller gems and put it just underneath my flowers. So we have a little trio of gems. I think that works going to work out good. But that is my card today using the Spellbinders Small Die of the Month Club Kit. I think it's so pretty. It's called the Lovely Card Creator and I just think it's very lovely. Thanks for joining me guys. Have a fabulous day and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.